When we think of Fourth of July and we think of our independence and we think of our freedom here in America uh, and today we do things like celebrate our freedom by the cooking out and the setting off the fireworks and the celebrations and that sort of thing uh, and it's good to be free but you know sometimes we don't always think about the responsibilities that come from that so <clears throat> I want to go to First uh, Peter uh, the second chapter and, and starting in uh, verse 13 and it says therefore submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake whether to the king is supreme or to governors as to those who are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of those who do good for this is the will of God that by doing good you may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men and in verse 16, it says, as free, yet not using liberty as a cloak for vice, but as bond servants of God, honor all people, love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the king. And so, you know, sometimes we think of, oh, well, freedom or, or to put it in a uh, spiritual perspective, grace, you know, allows us to kind of do what we want. Uh, but that's not really uh, the case. You know, we can... Uh, celebrate the fact that in this uh, country we can do things like proclaim the gospel on television without fear of the government shutting us down or uh, proclaim our belief in God without uh, being attacked for it. <clears throat> but, you know, it's not that we should take this freedom and just use it to fulfill every uh, selfish desire. So uh, today, just celebrate your freedom, but remember, humble yourself in that freedom, humble yourself before the Lord, honor him, and follow what the Bible lays out for us, how we should behave, how we should act, and uh, we will see ourselves blessed by doing that.